Hey guys, Dad does back again in our kingdom on the Awesome Sauce server. That's right. We've been working really hard. Oh, I hear you, Fido. <clears throat> so, this is our mini iron farm that I've set up, and and um. It is working right along, so let me show you in case I haven't already. Ooh, I have no safety guards. So here's our three little villagers and their beds and workstations, which make up a village. Um, here is behind this wall to protect it from iron golem spawning there. Um, is our ethyl hopper clock set for about about 35 seconds. Um, which is about 41, 42 items in there. And every few seconds, um, it opens. And there's Fido. Alright, so, um, Sham Boogie, the owner of the server, the server, says we are at spawn. If you want to come into the Matrix. Okay, let's go see what he's talking about. Uh, this is what's awesome about Awesome Sauce, is there's always things that are going on. Um, we had a dance party earlier today, uh, or earlier this evening. Um, Sir Vast hosted a dance party. Um, and uh, we, we had a, a good old time there. Uh, <clears throat> so this is experimental. Okay, where is everyone? <laughs> I mean, can we just appreciate this awesome little thing? Okay, he can't be responsible. All right, well. Put that, 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 uh, that just because. Okay. Yeah, really? I have a ton of iron that I need to smelt up. Okay. So that's new. <laughs> anyway. All right. What do you say? Okay. I can be. All right, find the big red box. Okay, this looks like a big red box. Oh, okay, yeah, well, that's uh, yep. That's a big red box. <clears throat> All right. Hey, ask for awesome sauce. I don't know what all this other design is. It looks like a smiley face. <clears throat> there is so much that. Happy welcome, cat. Welcome, taco. Out of order. <laughs> sure thing. Well, can't look out there. <clears throat> Keep in mind, Awesome Sauce is free to join. Um, it is an open server. It is family friendly. Um, so if you are, <clears throat> excuse me, 
No, I don't have the Rona. I just got sinus drainage. I know that's disgusting, but it happens to everybody. Um, but if you're looking for a good family-friendly server for your kid that wants to play multiplayer, maybe they watch um, Mumbo Jumbo and the other hermits, and they want to experience playing on a multiplayer server, um, something like that. Um, ooh, oh, okay. Um, then Awesome Sauce is where it's at. Um, it's a little modded um, with different things, but um, let's see. modded with different things <laughs> see this is the matrix um <clears throat> you know there are npcs this is an npc character of shambogi's creation um they've got mods like jobs um uh they've got special command mods uh such as awesome and it opens up the awesome sauce menu uh, where you get chat tips and tricks you get it shows the balance that you've earned uh, resource world takes you to the resource world um, voting GUI useful command pets um, player shop kits uh, online store uh, which takes you to the website there's the jobs that we have um, jobs info enter the name of a job okay Let me just see if I can find Cal, uh, Kalassi. Go towards the boat box. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No. Tor Still on the thing. Should see me. <clears throat> um, nicknames, ranks. If you notice in the corner, I'm a lord. Um, that's due to donations to the server to help keep things running and to, to you know, because um, it takes money for these servers and things like that. Oh. Ask me. Where'd she go? So there's a little bit of modding that makes it a little different than uh, from regular Minecraft, but um, it is it's loads of fun. Um, it took me a little while to, to learn a few things and to get used to a few of the the unique and, and intricacies of the, this particular server. Um, but I, I tell you what, it's it's a lot of fun. Um, interacting with all these people. Like I said, we had a dance party earlier tonight um, with uh, hosted by Sir Vast and, and some other people. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. I'll have to remember to record it next time. But, um, you know, it's just it's just an awesome sauce server. Um, no pun intended. Excuse me. Um, hmm. where is you? Huh. I hear you. Oh, oh. Okay. 
I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm coming to check you out. Clear warps. This, this is so many things that I haven't even checked out. Yeah. Oh. Duckies. Uh -huh. Okay, this villager is loud. He is somewhere. Um. I guess this area hasn't been opened yet. Chug celery juice earned ten dollars. I got lucky. Look where. And I was tired of being in that box. <clears throat> Here's another fun thing. As you level up, you get different disguises. So I'm going to disguise myself as. Well, let me put it as this. I'm going to disguise myself as a creeper. So you can freak out your friends and <laughs> watch them wrap their pants. Uh, I know I have now that the visuals when you're disguised sometimes are a little wonky. Like, watch when I stop. takes to realize <laughs> I don't think he's worried about it all right so how did I get 17 models okay well whatever um, all right now I think this home command is actually a uh, an exuma an exuma void um, data pack because I noticed it on his on his um, data pack vanilla tweaks. Um, as a as a function to set homes. All right, and we're back. Cluck 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 cluck. You hear my chickens? So I have expanded our um, uh, smelter, our super smelter, and it is working as it should. So I'm going to put, I'm going to get our gold and iron ore 
that we need to have smelted out. Do a few of these little things. All right, so item input. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna need to put some more fuel in there, and I have some coal blocks in there. Um, and I will add coal blocks seem to last longer. And I don't know what's wrong with this design, but I mean, I've seen it on even the hermits. Um, oh, there it goes. Like one furnace will always have a problem firing. So I don't know what that is specifically, but yeah. So in case you haven't seen this design, I did it in the realm for my super smelter. So you've got two hopper lines. One running into the top, which feeds it items. One running into the back or the front. You can do it in the front. Um, that feeds the fuel. And then you've got the hoppers out the bottom to take the... Um, the items away and out into a storage chest. Um, so how this works is you put a you put items into a chest where they get sucked out by a hopper. Now if you notice all of these hoppers are pointing towards the next hopper and into a comparator. So then the comparator gets this output signal and it flashes for each item that it gets and what that does is that then turns this redstone line off and uh, allows items that are in these hoppers to drop down one just one into the hopper uh, the hopper that's feeding into the furnace so and you stagger these on different levels and you can have uh, two lines like this. So, I mean, it's not very compact. Um, you could use um, rails and hopper mine carts. Um, I've seen that done to make it a little bit more, a little less costly and a little less space, you know, consuming because this is at most one, two, three, four wide. Um, and it, it only really works good up to, I think, eight, um, eight in a line. Um, beyond that, it kind of gets, um, it, it starts losing some of its efficacy. Like, it doesn't drop, um, drop items into the, the hopper at the right time. So, now the problem I've run into now where you've got... Um, I was checking something. See, all the coal is fairly evenly distributed. Now, the only reason that this one has coal blocks in it is simply because of the fact that um, we didn't have um, we didn't have anything in that one already. I'm going to add some cobblestone so I can get some stone to make some stone bricks. Um, the problem you're going to run into if you put them to like this is when you go to put the redstone up here, this redstone is then going to overlap. And that means when this blinks, if, as you notice, as it does showed right there, see, blink, blink. Um, when this turns off, this one, this line may turn off too, or if this doesn't blink at the same rate, then it may not turn off at all, which means then your stuff gets stuck into the, um, into the, um, hoppers and, and then you just have to fix it all oh, anyway. So let's, um, move this over one and go from there. <clears throat> Alright, I need one more hopper to go here, and then I'm going to need, alright, eight times four, 
32 more hoppers. I'm going to go craft up some hoppers uh, as I need 32 of them, which means I need 5 times 32 in iron. So I may not have that right, right off the top right now, so I'll be back when I'm ready. And I'll, we'll, we'll put this all together for you. All right, I think I think I have enough. If, if I did my nope, nope, I did not do my maths correctly. Do I have enough in here? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, now we'll go back to my iron farm, and I don't even have enough. Okay, hmm, how did I do that wrong? I don't know. This is why they say don't do maths on, on camera. I just need one, two, three, four, five. Anybody in the market for a poppy? I have poppies for sale. I should put them up on in my player shop for sale. Poppies for sale. Ooh, let's check our player shop, see if we've earned any money. Since we have the iron farm, I've created everything iron. Um, I have not sold a single thing. Uh, now I did, I did. I put some hoppers on there and I put um, iron ingots. Um, but I think everybody's making their own iron farms at this point. Uh, you know, small ones for personal use. So I don't know how effective our big one is that I want to build is going to be. So I don't know, but i um, still going to build it. Yep, still gonna build it. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright. Alright, thirty-two. That should be the number that I need. Okay. So let's go back here. Here for our comparator. Right, clear this. Give me, give me, give, give me some space. Give me some space. Okay. So I need this is going to go into y'all. Oh, I put the block a little too low. cave sounds. Really with the cave sounds. I mean, you aren't even near a cave. Ironically, some of the stone and the cobble is falling into the um, hoppers. And we'll get smelted when we finish and load it up. So, I think my next course of action I gotta do is redirect these things. Um, so, all right. So we need to have it going into where our comparator is gonna be. So, bloop, 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 bloop. and drop. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So this line done and this is going to require me to um, as over here stretch out and go this way all right there we go all right so we need to I mean <clears throat> get all there so comparator going this way Redstone torch and repeater going this way, and with the redstone line going all the way down. Okay, so this part is done. The input is done. 
So now let's work on the fuel. All right. Just as before, inputs going into there. And then this is comparator. And then blop, 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 blop. Okay. Let me, I'm going to have to clear this out anyway. So I need access and last hopper. All right. So there we go. <clears throat> So, now all we need is two preparers, two repeaters, two redstone torches, and a line of eight. I'll just grab a stack. So, I have two repeaters. Oh, no, that's a lever. Stack. Stack. Oh, and I have no comparators. So let me grab that quartz, and I just melted up some stone. So I oh, will use. There we go. Not five. I need una mas. That's one more. That means one more in case you're not aware. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh but well, there we go. <gasps> Oh, that's my disposal system. Okay, so let's do let's do this one. All right, so preparator. Preparator. Some torch, fall down. That's because that's the way it's supposed to go. While we're over here, right? Some torch. All right, repeater. Repeater. And we're done. That's it. That's all it takes. So if we, if you, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to go clear, make sure there's nothing in these. See? So what I tell you, it's ca I caught them. <clears throat> That's funny. Uh, All right, so I got 16. So, presumably, so I'm going to get over here so we can see the redstone at work. So, if I put this in here, as it makes its way down this hopper line and it hits the conveyor, it'll blink, releasing blink. 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 No. Alright, so it blinked four times. 16. So, let's see. Did it evenly distribute the... Um, all the stuff. Two. 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 One. Two. Wait, huh? There's probably one stuck still in the in the thing. I did put I did put that in there, right? I'm imagining. Oh, there it is. All right, so it's not a hundred percent perfect, but hey better than nothing okay really with the cave noises i mean 
time. The next thing I'll need to do is I want to make a let's decorate this up some. Okay. Um, let's see, we've got that exposed back there. We got this. This was all right, so yeah. Let me put this in here. Get that going. And okay, so I'm gonna decorate this up so that it looks good and doesn't look so hmm, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. So let's place the signs back. Okay. This we need to label as the fuel. Apparently, caps locks on fuel input. Place fuel source. No. Into this. You know what? My peeps are pretty smart. So if I put fuel input, they should know how to what that is, that means. And this is item input. All right. So put the items in here, and it distributes them evenly. Put the uh, fuel in here, and it distributes them evenly. So let's put all that in and see if we got all of them firing. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that whack the top one off. It looks good, but uh yeah. So the fuel's fine. Oh. I'm a dangus, I'm a dangus, I'm a dangus. What did I do wrong, guys? Anybody? Anybody tell me what I did wrong here? Right here. So. Alright, so the items distributed just fine. Oh, I'm a liar. And why are you in there? I gotta, I gotta figure this out. Um, this is just what happens with redstone sometimes, especially if you're not as proficient as like Etho and Nimbom and Mumbo and and the Psycraft guys. But even they mess up. So I'm not rage quitting, but I'm gonna figure this out. So I will be back and we'll go from there but to tell you a hint the redstone redstone's locking the hoppers so i bet you we'll find most of the stuff 
right in these two hoppers. All right, so I'll be back. No. Um. Oh, maybe it just dropped down there. Hopefully that's the case. Alright. Who knows the song I was just humming? Anyone? Anyone? Maybe you can tell me in the comments below. I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. So, alright, let's do this. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. 40 in, well, we've already got fuel in there, so it's okay. Um, so let's see. 64 going in, evenly distributed amongst 16. There should be 4 in each, right? 16 times 4, 24, 2. Yep, that should be it. So let's go. Why? What's your reasoning now? Okay, so that is stopping them. So I will have to put. <gasps> Redstone. Redstone. Redstone! All right. All righty. I'll be back. <sighs> okay. So again, I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, a builder. I don't, I just, I, for some reason, I can't see the way that I want something to look and then make it happen. Um, so forgive the, the, the ugly design. I tried to do something. Um, maybe I'll play around with it later, but I just wanted to get this working, and I think I got it working. <sighs> so, okay. Um, I am going to see if um, Kalassi is available. Uh, so, give me just one moment. Okay, so I reached out to Kalassi, and she was able to come over and check out what I have built. Hey, I don't want to hit you in the face. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so, um, as I've stated in the video, and I think I've stated it to you, I am not a builder. Uh, I can't make things pretty. I've tried to do a decent job here, but it's just a lot of oak. <laughs> it's just a lot of oak. Um, but anyway, okay, so... In the chest that you are seated upon, you will find a stack of cobblestone and uh, almost a stack of coal blocks. So, if you would, um, grab those out of there and follow me up to our the little balcony. Alright, so as I've, I've labeled them, so input chest is where we put the items to smelt. And then fuel is, well, fuel. So uh, if you would, put the coal blocks in the fuel input and the cobblestone in the item input. And then I will, you can follow me through the employees only area, which is down here. And we'll see the magic happen.
all the chests are are all the all but one. I don't know what it is. This one, it doesn't have anything in it. But um, I, I've seen that multiple times. I don't know how to fix it. So it is what it is. But I want you to see the output speed of this um, smelter. If you just stand over here, you just see. Uh, well, you know, you're going to miss it. 60 and well, that so there there was. Oh, we had some extra cobble in there. So, but I mean, it it spits it out at a very rapid pace. Um, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. Well, quick too. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, so so you stand there, you watch that, and I'm gonna put a stack of sand in, and we'll we'll get some glass. So it didn't look like we had any glass in there. Um, for reference, so bam. All right, that's going in there, and just watch the glass flow. So give it a second to kind of like prime the system, cleaning out all the stone. So it does kind of hold some of the stuff in there because of the way that it it works with the um, the hopper locking mechanism. Um, so mm -hmm. sometimes you're not going to get a full return on your uh, on your input, but um, it's still pretty darn good and pretty darn fast. So you still you still got some stone rolling out, but I mean, that's really quick. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've seen designs that are much faster, uh, like ridiculously fast. Um, mm -hmm. But for our purposes, I don't think we need to go that grandiose. Uh, just, just we want to make up something. You know, I'm working on trying to get uh, some stone bricks, so I need a lot of stone in order to do that. And mm -hmm. thanks to that stone cutter, I tell you what, you don't have to waste stone anymore. Um, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I think Bad. we're at the point where, yeah, <clears throat> I think we're we're at the point where it's hopper lock now. Um, but <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's the super smelter. Nice. So good job. That was my task for the day. Um, if you have any ideas on how to prettify this better, um, by all means, I'm just trying to hide the hoppers and. And hide all the where the magic happens, so to speak. I think it looks fine. <clears throat> all right. Well then, um, I think that is gonna be it for me. Um, yeah. So, um, well, like thank it. you for joining me. Now you know how that works. So. Uh, if you need to smelt anything up, you know what to do and how to how to do it, and just it's it's kind of like Ron Popeil's stuff. Do you remember the Ron Popeil with his Instamatic everything, where his his catchphrase was "You said it and forget it." That's pretty much what yeah. this is. This is a the Ron Popeil super smelter. Um, you just <laughs> throw it, throw the items in there. You set it and forget it, and it does its thing. Come back like five minutes later everything's done so but <laughs> that's good <laughs> well thank really you really good i'm glad you like it i hope it i hope it, you find some use to it as well so yeah all right well i'm gonna do my outro now uh and and in this video i think that's gonna be it for me today so um Glassy, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for showing it to me. You're welcome. You have yourself a wonderful day. And you too. We'll talk at you later. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye. Well, guys, that's it. Um, that's all I got for you today. So, um, just like we waved bye to, to Glassy, we're going to wave bye to you guys. So, all right, y'all have a great day. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Uh, keep just just take care of yourselves. Okay, just just take care of yourselves. All right, and as always, guys, be amazing. Bye.